Quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks so much for joining us today. Emily's in the house. How are you, dear? I am great. Good. How are you? I'm good. I, you, we look all Valentine-y. The guys did a great job on the set. I know. I'm so excited for Valentine's Day. It'll be super fun. Um, you have a little show and tell. Do you want to show it real quick? I do. It's actually today's project, yes. which is kind of perfect. I think it just demonstrates that this is actually, you can, a beginner can do this project. Look how fun this is. So I picked out some really fun Valentine's Eve fabrics, just kind of pieced it together very, you know, it, the, the dyes just make it so easy, Pam. Yeah. Like, I'm obviously a beginner sewer. My lines are not perfect quite yet, but yeah, you know but what? it's okay. It makes it so much easier when you've got the dyes, and it was fun to put together. I stitched in the ditch. Yes, good answer. The good first answer. time doing that as well, so yeah. that was really, really fun. Yeah. It was fun. Good. Look at Emily, she's coming right along. <laughs> All right, so where's everyone watching from today? Diane is watching from Madison, Wisconsin. And, oh, Terry's is a cute project, and Pat says great job. Emily, so oh, good job. Thank you. We're so glad that you're here today. All right, let's look at some of the new projects from today's video. Uh, first up is this really fun one by Ariel. And this is a dye called Local Color. Uh, by Bill Kerr. Is he related to you, Emily? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Look at how pretty this is. So the thing I love about local color is that you can just totally create gradient color pieces. So it's beautiful. That's gorgeous. And I love the backing she chose too. Mm -hmm. It's fun accent colors. Look and look at her backing. She's showing us what the backing looks so like. So cute. Next we have for the love of geese. Look at all those flying geese. And then in the center there are dinosaurs so sweet i know someone who would love that quilt look how fun that is i think it's darling next kimberly w made this really fun project so she used her cube to make these flower baskets and look emily she sent them on point love that so you could use the setting triangles um, to make this block as or to make this project as well mm -hmm. All right, and lastly, this is from Nancy A. Okay, the, she used our frog dye. We don't often use, see the frog dye. Yeah. But he's there, and then Northwoods Medley. I can see the moose and oh, the trees. Cool. Super cute project. Yes. Good job. Everybody is so creative. I love it. Okay, in celebration of Valentine's Day, this is my photo of the day. So I always talk about Mason and my Emily, not Emily who's here, but Mason's <laughs> Emily. Um, they live in Los Angeles. I just saw them last weekend. This is a cute little Valentine picture they took. Listen, this is the best Mason scrubs up really well. His day job, he's sometimes a little grubby, but he looks super cute there. <laughs> so here is the question of the day. Who do you love? And we're gonna, we want you to tag someone you love. Now, if you don't know how to tag someone in the comment section, click on the at sign, which is um, shift two, and then type in someone's name. So you could type in at Emily or at Pam Heller, and then tell, them, tell us who they are to you. So I would do at Mason Heller, and he is my son. He would tell you, his brother would tell you, he is my favorite child which is sometimes true. So tag someone you love. We want to hear about all the people you love. Today is all about a super fast and easy weekend project. We are going to make this really fun uh, Go Wonky Heart table runner just in time for Valentine's Day. So Emily made a version of this and it just turned out darling. And this is the one as well. Truly, truly quilters, you could make this in an afternoon. Mm -hmm. I mean, really a fast, easy project for Valentine's yeah. Day. Okay, so we're, that's to start us off. But of course we have a code for you today so you can save some money. 40% uh, off your order, use that code SAVEMY40, S-A-V-E-M-Y 40 at checkout. Some exclusions apply, so check the website, but if you spend more than uh, $350, we are going to ship you a free Go Me, which has $150 value and no code required. We're Ooh. just going to ship it to you. Isn't that fun? That's awesome. All right, today we're going to give away one of our wonky heart dies. Now, our wonky heart dies, last week we talked about it and said make sure everybody get the wonky heart die. It is now sold out but it will be back in stock soon, in fact, this month. So um, whoever wins today 
when the wonky heart die is back in stock, we'll send you one. But be sure and register for future events on the AccuCold event page for your chance to win. By registering, you're gonna receive event emails, and that way you're never gonna miss the opportunity to win. And Emily is gonna announce the winner of our registered viewer at the end of our show. All right, did you see our February dye to try? It is so cute. It is the Go Farm Animals Medley dye. And we're gonna use it next week in a project. So it has the three shapes. It has the cow, the pig, and the chicken. And they are meant to stack on top of each other if you want. They come with a free embroidery download since it is National Embroidery Month. And you can either do the um, animals individually, or Emily, did you know that there's actually an embroidery file that will stack them on top of each other? Oh, I didn't see that yet. Super How cute. Sweet. We're going to show you that sweet. <laughs> so today is really a good day to get the dye to try. Um, and it's only available in the AccuQuilt website. What's the cost, That's Emily? Correct. Yes. Right now it's sixty nine ninety nine, and there's some really fun bundles with it as okay. well. Yep. Um, you can get the medley with the mat and embroidery. Um, we've got the farmhouse with blocks, which includes so cute. the farm. Yeah, it's the what is the farm farm animals, the western medley, um, and the nine inch cube, the schoolhouse, yes. and the cutting mats. So cute. Ridiculous. So check our website because we have tons of bundles for that farm animals. Make sure you get to one. They're in stock. We'll ship them to you. All right. The Go Wonky Heart Dye is truly one of my favorite dyes, mostly because it has the word wonky in it. Okay? Wonky is my word. Okay, so here is the dye. It comes on a 10 by 10 dye board, so it will fit through your Go, your Go Big, or your Studio Cutter with the appropriate adapter. It's on a 10 by 10 dye board. Quilters, you want to make sure you're using a 10 by 10 mat. Don't try to use your big 10 by 24 mat. As it goes through um, the cutter, it's gonna shimmy and it's not gonna cut straight, okay? Now, it has screen printing for easy placement, to keep track of your pieces. We're gonna show you how to um, sew a block together. Cool thing about it is we've cut off all the dog ears. It has specialized dog ears. So from this point here to this point here is that perfect quarter inch seam, okay? This is what I call a directional die. You want all the fabric facing up. Emily, if you were to take your fan fabric and fan fold back and forth, half your pieces would be backwards. I actually learned that the hard way myself. I, I did as well, because <laughs> I didn't read the instructions. <laughs> yeah. And then, okay, and then in my quilting head, I thought, okay, I could sew them together backwards, and then I just cut new fabric, yeah. okay? <laughs> All right, so we're going to start by cutting and sewing our hearts. For this project, you just need two contrasting colors of fabric. And remember, you can always cut up to six layers of cotton fabric with our dies. This die is perfect for layer cakes. Because even though it's Valentine's Day this weekend, Listen, not all hearts are red. I made this project uh, for my nephew Ford and um, his were all blues and greens and grays. Cute. The hearts were. Okay, so here's my pro tip before we start cutting. Okay, so what I did was I took my die and I made a photocopy of it, just like this. You own the die, you can make a photocopy of it. The reason is, if you're gonna make more than two, you can always cut six layers. Um, what you wanna do is, cut your pieces and then stack them on this photocopy. And then what happens is, then you're gonna take all your shape A's and put them here. Because what you're gonna end up doing is shuffling the H, I, and J. And that way you could have an entire layer cake, which is typically 40 layers of fabric. And then you could just start chain piecing your parts. Perfect. I know, I learned that the hard way. But <laughs> I, did, I did learn it, okay. All right, so I have um, my shapes, or my two fabric, so I just cut 10 inch squares because that's typically what a layer cake is, mm -hmm. okay? I'm gonna find that lengthwise green, so look. Lots of stretch, low and wonky, but look. High and tight, that's the right way, okay? High and tight, all right, this way as it goes through the cutter. Mm -hmm. Emily, 
Emily, I think you had this fabric in yours. I was going to say that looks very familiar. I think that's my fabric. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm kind of into the red and black. Sometimes I love to make hearts out of pink, but right now I'm kind of into red and black. I know, it's kind okay. of fun contrast. So that's it. We have our two layers. We're going to put a mat on top because, Emily, what happens if you try to cut without a mat? Not a darn thing. Not a darn thing. Okay. And while we cut it, Emily, tell us who, who people are loving. Yes. Well, this is so sweet. I want to give a shout out to Joan A because she says it's her birthday today and this event is part of her celebration for the day. Joan, happy birthday. So big, big happy birthday to you, Joan. If Erica Joan. were here, we would sing, but we are not going to sing. <laughs> But happy birthday to you. Listen, buy yourself something fun, 40% off. Exactly. Okay? Exactly. All right. And uh, Karen says that her, the love of my life is in heaven, Joe. I miss him every day. Aww. Um, Missy, actually, Missy, Missy, who's um, one of my customers that I talked to um, on the phone a couple times, you know, mm -hmm. I've, I've recognized her name, um, her son, Ben, and I know that they quilt together. She and her son are big quilters together. That's like their I favorite love thing that. to do. I love that. Yeah, he has a go me and to get to, yeah, it's so sweet. Yeah, so fun. <laughs> um, I quilt a lot with Oakley. She's, I would tag Oakley in our comments. Okay, so now I've cut my pieces. Do you see the heart? Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. You're just going to shuffle the pieces so that the centers are opposite. Super easy. Well, there it is. There it is. <laughs> There's that heart. I actually have some black sewn, so we can go right there. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to show you um, how we're going to sew it together. Now, this is one of those dies that you want to read the instructions because you want to sew A and H together first. Okay. And then you're going to add the sides and then you're going to sew this row and this row and add the sides. But if you try to add this first, um, it's not gonna work, all right? So I'm gonna move this out of the way. I have my iron on, it's hot. All right, Emily, why I'm chain piece and tell us who people are loving. Absolutely. Um, Michelle has tagged Joe, her husband. Oh, I was like, Joe, she likes Joe. So sweet. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and um, let's see, Barbara has tagged uh, Tiffany, her oldest child uh, of four children. Okay. I love there you that. go. Oh, Donna tagged Kokomo, her fur baby. Oh, there you go. I love okay. that name, too. I love it. Kokomo. That's a Beach Boys song. It is. It's a place <laughs> in Indiana. My friend Paige lives there. Love that. Okay, so look. I'm sewing A to H. We're just going to chain piece the whole thing, and it's going to go so fast. Perfect. Okay? Keep going, Emily. Yeah, absolutely. And then if you have questions, quilters, don't forget. Yeah, absolutely. Let me know. I'd be happy to, happy to ask your questions, guys. Yep, so um, now I'm going to sew C to J. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Let's see, Diane. Um, I love my son, Patrick, who is also an avid quilter. Oh, yay. Love that. I love all of these women quilting with their boys. I know, these families that quilt together that stay together, right? I know. <laughs> Mason actually made a little quilt one year for Christmas for his Emmy. Oh, really? And all right, so now I'm going to go I and F, and then I'm going to come back and show you how to add that section. Um, he made it for, in. we used the tumbler die, which was yours, which yes. is at the quilters right now, isn't it, Emily? Yes, it's being quilted right now, and I'm so excited. I think I think I have a voicemail that says it's ready to be picked up, so I just need to, Yay. I just can't wait to see it and bind it. That's my last step. After our show today, um, my friend Christina from Tomorrow's Quilt is bringing my quilt that she bound. <gasps> That's so exciting. I can hard, or that she quilted, and I'm going to bind it in stripey fabric because that's what I'm doing this year. Absolutely. I love you know, that. No, it's a Valentine's present for Taylor, so. Oh, how so sweet. Be fun. Yeah, he's not watching, so I can talk about it. There you go. I know. I told my I, my parents I made I made this table runner for them, and I was like, it's just so you know, I'm going to show it on the show, and it's coming to you. So they know. <laughs> then, then it will come. <laughs> then it will come. Okay, so now look how easy this is now. I can just lay my pieces back on the die board. Perfect. So I don't get all confused. Okay. Because sometimes I get a little confused when I'm here. At home, I never get confused. Okay, so I'm going to press these pieces. And I think, look at this. I'm going to move this. Oh, so sorry, guys. They did such a good job putting the wonky heart die up. And there I am just breaking it. It's a fun one. Here we go. 
Oh, we've got another uh, couple that quilts together, and, and uh, Kristen and Wayne, um, Kristen tagged her husband Wayne, I should say, and they're watching this together today. Yay, Kristen and Wayne. I was Hi, reading Kristen in the comments Wayne. the other day, and somebody was saying that um, they watch our show together, she and, her, she and her hubby. Okay, so now I've done A to H, so now I'm gonna add B to one side. Now, look at this, quilters. Don't get your pieces all mixed up. <laughs> okay. Let's see. There we go. Oh, and we have a question from Kirsten. Um, is the wonky heart the same size as one of the crazy quilt dies? <laughs> yes, in fact it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna laugh, I'm gonna tell you this. Cause the other day, I don't know, sometimes in my quilting head, um, you know, it's a little busy before our shows. And I, um, yes, the answer is yes. The Crazy Quilt Die and the Wonky Heart for the Go both finish to six inches, okay? And they're both on 10 by 10 die boards. And Emily, I don't know if you were here that day when I was talking about it, but am I good? Okay, thanks. Um, anyway, I was talking about it and I pulled up, instead of showing the Wonky Heart Die, I showed the Crazy Quilt Die and I just talked about it and said, oh, look, here's the heart. And I just went on. And <laughs> so the cool thing about the wonky heart die is you don't have to make hearts, though you should, mm -hmm. um, but you could also make it into a crazy quilt block. So if you had just different colors, uh -huh. right, then it would, um, okay. It would be a crazy heart, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, it would, be, it would be cool. Okay, hold on here. All right, so now we're, this goes down here. See, this is why we make sure we do this the right way, okay? So again, you want all the whites, the hearts, the, the black one. So now I'm gonna add shape G to the side. This is, goes so, together so fast. And when I make, um, when I made Ford, Ford is my nephew, mm -hmm. when I made Ford's, I started and I sewed all the shape A's to all the shape H's, and then I pressed. Mm -hmm. And then I sewed mm -hmm. all of the others. So that way you can just sit and chain piece. Love that. All right, tell us. Actually, we have a question. From, oh, have a, from I love questions. Pam from Yuma. Hi, Pam from Yuma. What is the rule for seam pressing in this particular block? Yeah, in this particular one, just yeah. whatever feels good. I just press it away. I, I, the seams aren't gonna match here when you put them together. Well, they might. We'll press them. We'll press them one direction and the other. This one you don't really have to press open. Sometimes I tell you to press them open so those pieces lie flat, but this one you don't have to. But we'll just, we'll just press them one direction in one row and the other direction in the other row. Um, when you read the instructions, mm -hmm. it will tell you pressing instructions. That's true. I know, quilters, okay, Emily, you don't know this, but quilters very often don't read the instructions. Yeah. I don't know why that is. I'm probably the same way. I think, I, I think I've probably missed, <laughs> missed a step Did or you two. Did you a step? <laughs> well, I definitely, what you were just talking about was not something I've ever seen in a pattern. <laughs> Oh. But I, it's, I mean, I know it's there, but yeah. you know, I just never look for it. <laughs> there you go. Um, we have a lot of fun, a uh, lot more tags, which is okay, super tell us all the fun tags. people they love. Um, Lisa tagged Steve, uh, my handsome husband that lets me buy tons of AccuQuilt Steve, products. we all love you. Good job. Steve, you're the bomb. I love that. All right, who else are people tagging? I love this. This is my funnest one. I like it. Love this. Yes. Tagging my husband, Larry, who does all my AccuQuilt supplies. Ah. Jenny tagged Jacqueline. My mom is my best friend and full supporter of all my AccuQuilt purchases and products. Okay. So now I'm going to take these two pieces and sew them together to make the center. Oh, that's so nice. Sweet. Yes. So sweet. Moms are the best. Moms are. I actually am making a quilt for my mom next. Are you? What are you making? Is yes. it a secret? Is she watching? Um, well, she knows what's actually, she helped me pick out the fabric for it. Oh, there you go. I, you know, we thought it's, if it's going to be in her room, I wanted it to make, I wanted to make sure she really, really liked the fabrics. 
Yeah, um, that's important. Yeah, so we we went, um, you know, to one of our one of our local fabric stores here, and we had a blast. Did you go to the Celtic Quilter? They sell our product now. We did. Yeah, it was a blast. Yeah, they did a great job helping yeah. us pick out everything, and they made it super easy for mom because she. She just had a, yeah, we had a great old time just picking out the fabrics and the colors. So. Hey, look how fast this is going together, quilters. Oh gosh, I love it. And I'm doing these pieces. <laughs> so really, truly in 10 minutes. Actually, had I not talked, I probably could have done it way faster, but that's all right. We'd like to talk. Exactly. Okay, keep going here. Exactly. Let's see. Oh, Karen, my cat Lanto is the love of my life. I can't tag him because he doesn't have an online presence. Oh, well, there you go. I, you know, I have seen people whose cats have Instagrams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those people are fun. Um, Brock has just informed me that one of the things we should tag is pizza, because today is National Pizza Day. Ooh, yeah. I know. I do love good pizza. What kind of pizza do you like the best? Yeah. Do you have a favorite flavor or topping? Um, um, so we live here in Omaha. If you live here in Omaha, you should eat at Mama's Pizza. Yeah, and they have several locations. Mama Pizza, Mama's Pizza. Um, we always have a combo: no green peppers. Ooh, yum! Have you ever had Cops Pizza? I have not. They have a crab rangoon pizza pan oh my God. with cream cheese. It's it, it sounds ridiculous, but it I does. swear it's the most yummy thing you'll ever eat in your life. <laughs> is it really? It okay, really is. I'll and trust you. And even just it, just if you're getting looking for a good pizza, their crust is like, oh, perfect. perfect. All the good Perfection. stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right, so look, I'm just pressing the opposite ways so my rows are going to line up. Perfect. So I'm going to start here with this row. Okay, we're almost done sewing our blocks, oh folks. Oh my gosh, how quick was that? I know. All right, and we, any more questions, Emily? Yeah, let me check here. So, um, will directional fabric work out well with this dye? Um, I'm gonna say no. Because yeah. it's already a directional dye, so you really would have to, sometimes directional fabric is hard when you're trying to lay it on the lengthwise grain. Oh, sure, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because then you can't guarantee if it's gonna cut on right. that perfect, yeah. Right, and sense. I feel like sometimes when I do that, mm -hmm. then I end up going, it, it's kind of wonky in the fact that I have to waste a lot of fabric sure. to find out which way it's gonna lay. Absolutely. So I would say no. I would I would I would wait okay. on that. Okay, we're just sewing our rows together, quilters making hearts for days. Love this. And Linda's wondering why there's spaces uh, between the die shapes. I think on the I think she means like on the die board. Oh yeah, why do you think that is, Emily? Probably to just to give you a little clearance so you can so you don't waste fabric and you're yep. got room to lay out your, your pieces. Yep. Yep, that's exactly right. Yes. So just a little bit of space there, give you a little extra hot minute. Okay, while I'm sewing, hey, um, Friday, in celebration of the whole Valentine's week and how much we love our customers, we have a special event on Friday, February 11th at 12 noon Central Time. Um, Eric and I will be here. It's a new trunk show called Deck the Hearts. We're going to be sharing tons of um, fun ideas for Valentine's Day that you could just make in a hot minute. Look at this, this makes me so happy. Okay. Love that. So now look, I'm just, I'm almost done here. And then I'm gonna show you how to make the rest of our project. So this super fast, again, like Emily said, this is a great beginner project. Mm -hmm. If you're new to AccuQuilt and you can sew a quarter inch seam, you can make this, okay? And remember with AccuQuilt, you can always cut six layers. When I made Fords, I cut six layers of hearts um, with that. All right, we're almost done. Well, what I love about this die too is that it is kind of scrappy, like kind of similar to the Crazy Quilt. You know, you can just play with it so much. And it gives you like, for beginners, it gives you a little bit of clearance, you know, if you're. Right, <laughs> gives you a little leeway. Exactly, it's meant to be wonky, you know? Yes, it gives you a little <laughs> leeway. But I tell you, I bet there, we have lots of viewers today who have tons of layer cakes mm -hmm. in their um, stash. Quilters, bust them up, make some hearts. Perfect. It's that time of year, it's Absolutely. always fun. 
All right, do we have more questions? Well, we've got some more fun comments. Okay, let's and tell us what people are loving. Yes, they're loving. those we love. Bonnie loves all six of her grandkids. Yay! Love that. Yay! Oh, Betsy, it's her. She loves her husband Paul. Today is their 48th wedding anniversary. Hey, Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! 48 years to the same person. That wow. is Wow! Oh my gosh! Good job. Good Congratulations. job. Congratulations. Okay. So now look, my hearts are done. Look at that. So How cute. fast was that? All right. And now I'm going to show you how to make the center block, which is here, Brooke, I'll just, or Justin, I'll hold it up right here. Okay. Now we just need a cube to make that. Um, we need the six inch cube mm -hmm. to make that block. Oh, we're going to cut some more stuff. Good thing I only knocked down the heart, die one time already. <laughs> I tell you. <ya. laughs> All right, so it. next we need three dies from the six inch cube, okay? okay. We're gonna need shapes five and six to create the block square in a square, which actually is one of my all time favorite blocks. And then we need shape two for the pieced border. Now I have already taken all of my dies out of the six inch cube. Quilters, we have tons of videos about the cube on our YouTube and Facebook pages. Check them out. I think just yesterday we talked about the eight shapes in the cube. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember we have five sizes of cubes, four, six, eight, nine, 10, and 12, six sizes, sorry. And they each have the same eight shapes, okay? So if you wanna learn more about cubes, be sure to check them out. Okay, so we're gonna start by making this little block, which is called square in a square. And just like the hearts, we're gonna make them opposite. Okay, so we need a contrasting fabric. So here is shape six, which is that square on point. When we put it together, it's gonna be like this. So I have my two pieces of fabric here. And for each block, we need four of shape number five, which are smaller half square triangles. And I have my two pieces here. Okay, now today, um, lots of things are on sale, 40% off. Mm -hmm. um, our go big is excluded from that, but our ready, set, go is. It sure is. Right? Yes. So here's the thing. If you're new to AccuQuilt and you want to start, the ready, set, go has everything you need to get you started. It has our go machine, which is our manual machine, an eight inch cube, and a two and a half inch strip die. So good. Of which you can make all the things. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I'm going to use my go big today. And since I am, I can run two dies through in one pass. AccuQuilt is 90% faster than rotary cutters or scissors. So two dies at one time is exponentially faster. Absolutely. Okay, then I'm gonna give it some love, slide that mat off. Why do I give it love, Emily? So that the static doesn't stick to yeah, the... Yeah, it's really staticky here in the Dream yeah. Studio. Though today in Nebraska, it's gonna be like 56 degrees outside. I know, yesterday I think it got up to 60, Pam. I know, it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. It was beautiful, okay. So now we're gonna do, again, some chain piecing, but I'm gonna lay out my blocks so you can see it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start here with your uh, square on points, shape number six, okay? And then we're gonna add the outer hearts, okay? I always like to lay out my blocks. Emily, do you lay out your blocks? I do, yes. And that way I know I'm sewing them right. Absolutely. Boy, howdy. The other day I was making pineapple blocks and boy, of all the ones I lay out, those ones for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now again, this is a great chain piecing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from here. Look how we've cut off the dog ears. So when I lay it right here on this square, it's gonna come together perfectly. Now you're gonna to say to me, oh Pam, this isn't right. But if I sew right here in that quarter inch seam, it's gonna turn out perfectly. So I am gonna just chain piece these two blocks together. Literally quilters, I made all these blocks because I was only at home with Pearl, my cat, um, in like 30 minutes. Okay, so while I'm sewing this, Emily, tell us, 
Um, who people are loving, who did they tag? Yes. Well, actually, I have a very, very fun comment from Cindy who- Hi, Cindy. She says, since Pam loves the word wonky, yes. ask her if she's read the kid's book, The Wonky Donkey. I bet you she'd love it. <laughs> okay, no, I haven't. And today I'm going to go to the bookworm and get the wonky donkey. The wonky donkey. She says, my grandniece and grandnephew laugh themselves silly when I read it to them. So that sounds like a blast. That sounds Thank like you. something you want to invest. I love that. <laughs> a wonky donkey. The wonky okay, donkey. So I've done one side. Now I'm going to do the opposite side. And I'm just going to keep doing this. This is so fun to just sit and piece our blocks together. Absolutely. Okay, wonky donkey. I gotta, <laughs> don't let me forget that, okay? Absolutely. I know. We're, right, we're keeping that one in the book. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you learn on AQ Live today? Well, we learned about the wonky donkey. Exactly. Okay. There you go. All right, who else are people loving? Yes, um, Tammy loves Kaylin, my only granddaughter. Um, she was born with major heart problems, but at 17, she's perfect. Have taught her some sewing, and we did karate together. Oh, my gosh. How cool is that? I love this. Oh, wow, Tammy. And I'm going to tell you that um, grandkids are truly the best thing ever. They are. I mean, I just... Oakley is one of my favorite humans. See, I don't even have kids yet, but I'm like, can I just skip that and go to the yeah, grandkids? Yeah, truly, if I could have just skipped the kid part and had grandkids, that would have been so much easier. Exactly. Okay, so look, I'm pressing away. Somebody asked me last week if I pressed from the back or the front. Now I'm all nervous about that. Okay, now look. I'm going to do the same thing here, but look, because I sewed a quarter inch seam and we cut off the dog ears from here to here is perfect. Gorgeous. I do love that. I was, um, last year, year before, I went to Duluth, Minnesota mm -hmm. to a quilter. She's amazing, fabulous, famous. And she commented, she said, boy, your pieces are cut so well. And I said, yeah, there's a die for that. So the quilt that's coming back from the quilter today from uh, Christina is was made with the four inch cube. And I'll take a picture of it. We'll show it next week. That's awesome. Okay. Do you quilt all, do you have quilt any of your quilts at um, like the smaller projects yourself or yeah. do you like to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's how I like to do it too. Yeah, yeah this one was super uh, fun. It took, um, the finished quilt is, I don't know, 80 by 96 or something. It's oh, huge. wow. And it used over 400 four and a half inch squares. What? All of which I cut with our dies. Wow. I actually used um, a four and a half inch strip die mm -hmm. and turned them at 90 degrees and cut squares for days. But yeah. um, Lori and Christina and I, it's, well, I'll talk about it next week, but it was so fun. We just had such a great time. That's awesome. Okay, so look how fast I'm sewing these square into squares. Okay, so now I'm gonna add this side. Look at you go. I love that. I know. Oh, this is cute, Pam. Ariel says she loves her FedEx guy because he brings me AccuQuilt goodies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ariel. <laughs> yes. That's so sweet. You do love the FedEx guy. I know, right? That's funny. That's the best. I think somebody loved him yesterday. We were talking about things that people, perfect yes. pairs, and they were like AccuQuilt and FedEx. That's right, I remember okay. that. <laughs> so now look. Perfect. All right. So then I'm just gonna press these open, uh, just press them out, right, towards the outside. Mm -hmm. they, they like it better that way. The squares seem to line up perfectly. Okay. okay. All right. I love this. Okay. Do we have any more comments here before I? I know, I'm just checking to see if we've got any more okay. questions here. Well, Margaret loves her husband, two daughters, son, and five grandchildren. Oh my goodness. Love That's that. Um, let's see here. I guess I'm curious. Oh, um, you know how you use the craft foam for templates? I do all the time. <laughs> um, how thick, do you know how thick it is approximately? I don't, but just by the regular craft foam, don't get the sticky back stuff. Sure. And then um, what's, and then I just cut one layer at a time. Okay, so I already made two. I would give these a really good press with my iron, my big iron, okay? And then we're just gonna sew them together. I'll show you how we're gonna sew them together. And then we are almost done. I have one more, two more things to show you how to cut. 
but we are almost done sewing. Gotcha. I feel like I'm gonna make one of these just longer mm -hmm. than this one, right? Because I'll have all the pieces for it. Yes. Yeah, this is such a cool project. Even though I was a beginner, I feel like it didn't take that long at all. No, it's great because you can just line up the pieces. Mm -hmm. It's going to come together perfectly. Nice and easy. Yeah, and make sure quilters are doing that good quarter inch seam. Absolutely. All right, here we go. And the six inch cube you're using too. Um, is that part of the My 40? It's part of the My 40. How much is it uh, with the My 40? You save $100, it's 150. With, Excellent. Yes. So today's a really get, great day to stock up on dies and cubes. Um, strip dies, we're gonna show you the two inch strip die here in a minute. Yep. And then uh, just a really, really great day to do that. It really is. And don't yeah. forget if you spend $350 or more, right? You we're gonna send you a free Go Me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you know the GoMe can use over 90 or 70% of all of our Go dies? That many? Fit through, yeah, over 70%. Oh, wow. Yeah, lots of applique shapes. So today, well, it's National Embroidery Month. Right. You want to do that. And I believe we've got some markdowns on the embroidery too to celebrate yes, National I think it's Embroidery 15 Month. 15% off. Yeah, 15%. Yeah. yeah. And then behind Emily, you see the little um, wonky heart and it has the coffee and tea medley die. That project is a free downloadable at AccuQuilt.com. And I would assume that's on sale, yes? Uh, well, coffee. I believe so. Yeah, let me double check that. But yes. I, yeah, the coffee and tea, yeah, that would qualify, absolutely. Okay. I'm pressing my seams opposite so that they nest. Okay, there you go. All right. Emily, do um, you have any more fun people that they're tagging? Let's see here, yeah. I'm having, let's see, people are just Our so- Our team who's monitoring the comments today, I bet are having a great time. I know, they're have, there's so much love, that's so sweet. Yeah, lots of, it's, we've got, um, let's see. Yeah, Beverly tagged her, um, Al, her hubby, <coughs> excuse yeah. me. And uh, Carolyn tagged Jim, her husband, for 33 years. Oh, wow, wow. congratulations. That's amazing. I congratulations. love it, yes. Um, oh yeah, Roberta tagged Mackenzie, her granddaughter. Look at this. So sweet. Okay, there's our center. Ta-da. Oh all right, God. now all you need are the edges and the sashing. So we'll get to that in just a second. So the question is, why is AccuQuilt better than traditional cutting methods? To create our heart, you would have had to use a paper template or foundation paper piecing, and neither, th neither of those options are going to be as accurate as AccuQuilt. You're going to get thousands of cuts out of those dies, hundreds of cuts out of your mat. Make sure you're flipping, turning. When it stops cutting cleanly, you want to replace your mat. Don't forget today, save my 40, 40% 40 off your order. Some exclusions apply, plus get a free Go Me when you spend over $350. So today is a really great day to stock up on cubes and companion sets. Um, next week for the farm animals, we're gonna need the eight inch cube and the two and a half inch strip die. So again, that ready, set, go is a perfect way to start. Perfect. What other things, Emily, at 40% off? Absolutely, yeah, we've got, yeah, I mean, I'd say the Ready, Set, Go is honestly such a great investment. Yeah. The strip die that we're about to use as well for this project, mm -hmm. um, a lot of our strip dies are about that 99.99 right. you know, price point. Um, if you get them today, they're gonna be 60. Perfect, Yeah. perfect. So great day to stock on that. Don't forget, I'm giving away one of our wonky heart dies. Be sure to register for future Wednesday events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. All right, so now let me show you how to create this pieced border. So let me just show it to you. We're just gonna cut the pieces. We're not gonna sew any of them together. So right here are just these little cute uh, squares. We cut at two inches and they finish to an inch and a half. It's actually from the cube. They are actually shape number two from the six inch cube. So the wonky heart die finishes to six inches, that block does. So we're gonna use our six inch cube to work with it. Also today, setting triangles. Boy, if you're thinking, I wanna make projects with blocks on point, make sure you have the appropriate setting triangles to match your cube. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I have uh, the four pieces of fabric that I used in my project, and I'm just gonna lay it on here. Again, I'm gonna run it through my cutter. The four, six, eight, and nine inch cubes will all fit through your Go Me. Did you know that? Yeah, they're all in six by six die boards. Give it a little bit of love, slide, don't lift. Love that. And now we've just mm -hmm. cut squares for days. Yeah, and if you wanted to get your six inch uh, setting triangle to go along with your six inch yes. cube, it'd be 54 today. Perfect. Yeah, not too bad. So then you would just lay these out and you would just chain piece for days. Look at how fun this is. I do love this fabric. And the great part about this fabric was I didn't buy any new fabric. I just did a whole bunch of, you know, I just went through my stash. Mm -hmm. Okay, great one. So cute. All right, now don't forget all of our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube pages. You can go back and watch one if you, can, if you need to, okay? Like today, if you're thinking, oh, how did Pam sew that wonky heart together? Come back and watch it. All right, Emily's gonna talk to us about a blog. We have a blog. Yes, um, we've got a fantastic blog that our go-getters and AccuQuilt staff um, are writing up a storm um, every single week. Um, right now, we actually have some really fun Super Bowl projects that are kind of DIY, very fun to yes. get ready for that. That'll be fun. Coming up here. Mostly, I just wanna eat. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> but go whoever's playing. I know who's playing. I'm not going to say I'm not going to pick sides. It will cause controversy. Okay? <laughs> and we have some new go-getters. We get them all the time. Huge shout out to Chip. He's part of Fabric Hustle or Fiber Hustle. He's so great. Oh, that's awesome. He, he is great. He's one of our new go-getters. All right. So the last thing we need for our project are um, strips that we cut with our two inch strip die, which is right here. Okay, we need them for both the inner and outer border. Here's the thing quilters, all of our geometric shapes, including our strip dies, have a quarter inch seam allowance built in. So if Brock says to me, hey Pam, I need a five inch square, I'm gonna say, ooh, do you need a five inch square or a five inch finished square? Those are two different dies. So today we're gonna cut two inch strips that finish to one and a half inches, right? Because that's gonna be shape number two in the six inch cube, all right? So I'm gonna show you how to cut strips. Somebody was asking on social media, they were getting that wonky, that little wonky middle. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you how to not get the wonky middle. Hey, Karen K. Buckley scissors, they're on our website. Our ironing, um, our iron and mat are on our website. Karen K. Buckley's gonna be on our show next month. Really? Or maybe this month. I don't know. Ooh. She's coming soon. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. I knew she was coming. I, I'm kind of, I'm a huge fan of hers. I'm really excited to meet her. Okay, this is our two and a half inch strip die. Okay, it is, or this is our two inch strip die. Okay, it's very similar to all of our other strips. Okay, um, I'm going to show you, there's no blades down here, no blades down here. They're in this die, five blades. One, two, three, four, five. These lines are so you can cut diamonds and squares. And again, we have tons of videos on how to cut strips, okay? So if you need to know how to do it, um, you can watch this, but watch this because this is how you do it, basically. So two, four, six, eight, all right? I cut with the fabric eight and a half inches. I gave myself just a quarter of an inch on either side. And I cut off my salvage. Emily, do you know why I cut off my salvage? I'm not sure. Actually, that's a good question. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, you're gonna cut it off anyway when you're making your strips and sewing them together, so I just cut them off now, okay? You can cut up to six layers. I just cut the binding for Taylor's quilt in one pass through the cutter nine strips of two and a half I used. But this is two inch strip, put on that big 10 by 24 cutting mat. All of our strip dies will fit in the Go Fabric Cutter, which is part of that Ready, Set, Go as well. And there are two strip dies built for the Go Me. So if you're looking to get some strips, today's a great day, use that My Save My um, 40. Save My 40, yes. Save My 40. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
And that free go me with that three hundred and fifty dollar purchase. Like it's a it's great. a great day to stock up on things. Get you some cubes and some dyes, exactly. some bobs. Yeah, go for the cube and the companion sets. Why not? <clears throat> I know. All right, give it some love. Slide that mat, don't lift. Woo! So much static in here. Okay? So now watch this. I'm gonna show you. Okay? So there's no mountain in the middle. The reason that it's not wonky is because when I lined up my fabric, my fold of the fabric, I made sure was parallel to this black line. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right? Follow the pattern to complete the table runner. I'm going to complete it. Look, I have all of my pieces cut. Sandwich the batting between the top and the bottom, based and quilted as desired. You can do like Emily and stitch in the ditch and bind it. Emily, that was her first time binding, was it not? First time binding, yeah. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago on our show, we had three different kinds of binding. So when I'm going to bind mine, I'm actually going to use my one and three quarter inch strip die. Um, there's a really cool way to um, bind it. You can watch that show from a couple of weeks ago. But again, use Save My 40, right? Yeah. Get that one and three quarter. All right. And that way, this year, all of my projects are getting bound with stripes. Love it. It's my 2022 goal. Okay? <laughs> now, quilters, be sure and share your finished projects on all of our social media platforms so that we can see them. Okay. So Friday... We have a special show, but join Eric and I on Tuesday, February 15th, as we relaunch the Go Carpenter's Wheel die. This is such a great die. Register in the link for the chance to win, and Karen K. Buckley will be on our show, 12 noon Central Time. Don't forget our promo today, Save My 40. Use um, that code to get 40% off your order. Use the code at the end. And don't forget, if you spend over $350, we are going to send you a free Go Me. And you don't have any code needed. They'll just put it in your cart. All right, Emily, did you learn some fun things? You made this project so fun. I learn something new every day. That's every fun. time we, every time we do these shows. <laughs> We're glad all of you are tagging the people that you love. All right, Emily is going to announce the winner of our Go Wonky Heart Die. I sure am, yes. Can I get a drum roll, please? Our winner today is Roxanne Kelly from Grants Pass, Oregon. Congratulations, Roxanne. When that wonky heart is in stock, we will send you one. I'm excited about that. And don't forget, hearts, they don't always have to be pink or red. You can make hearts all the year long. All right, be sure to join us next week for AccuQuote Live as we're going to make this super fun project using the Go Farm Animals medley die and our 8-inch cube. Make sure you register for the chance to win prizes. It's going to be great. Okay, so on behalf of our entire AccuQuilt team, hey, huge shout out to Lauren, who is helping monitor our comments today. Lauren and Morgan are off-site here in the Dream Studio. I have Emily and Brock and Joe and Justin. I'm Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt more. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.